Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress 2014 with the Flying Fent. This is Night Hall, episode number 57. Uh, and I was just thinking, even though I'm not keeping up with the hauling, I wouldn't mind getting some more of these axe dwarves in training. Because if we look, these guys are, are pretty much done, right? They Their shield user is up, their fighter is up, their discipline is still not quite there, their axe dwarf isn't quite there, but that's all stuff they can raise on their own. So the way I do this... So I go ahead and I change their nickname from Axe Recruit to Axe Dwarves. They will never be Axe Lords in name, even though they're Axe Lords in title. Uh, simply because I've got Axe Lords. Think of it as like, my military has three ranks. There's my two generals, then I got a bunch of, uh, I don't know, I can't decide if I want to call them captains or sergeants. Uh, I'll call them captains. Now, let's, let's say i got four ranks, right? My generals, my captains, my sergeants, and then I have, uh, like, privates, potentially, right? They're, they're people who are potential. Who, who, I guess everyone's a private. It's, but these guys are, sar are, are sergeants, these guys are captains, and these guys are generals. So there you go. So my captains, my axe dwarves. Why did I call them axe dwarves? They should not be plural. Uh, but I can't call them axe dwarves because... That's our Axe Dwarf, because that's what I call it. Okay, so what will I call him? I will call him Axe... Axe Captains. And the World of Tomorrow. Alright, so there's my Axe Captains. So these guys here will become Axe Recruits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... You know, one of them can stay an Axe Lord. Or an axe, an axe person. Who is the worst of you? Which of you? I should have left it the way it was. Which of you? You have. How did you even get in this list? You're pretty crap. Oh, this guy's even worse. You should not even be an axe dwarf, as far as I'm concerned. So you can stay an axe dwarf, and everyone else will become the other ones. Will be axe recruits. All right. So now, what I do. Um, I have enough mechanisms, right? About 48 mechanisms I do, so I can I could hook up the, the big danger room, the good danger room. The absolutely outstanding danger room. Uh, to start though, let's go into military. We'll go into our training platoon, we'll remove our axe captains. Okay. And let's go ahead and add... Recruits. Ah, crap, I moved the mouse. So this guy needs one. Two. Yeah, three. Three per. Three. And this guy needs three recruits. Oh, that's not the button I meant to push. One. Push the same button again. Because I'd be a fool. Two. I almost pushed at that time, but just caught myself. Three. Okay, so there we go. Now, equipment. The uniform was assigned to the platoons. Oh, shoot, I'm removing stuff. Alright, I, I see what I did wrong there. Um, so I want to go to you, assign uniforms, uh, and metal armor I had modified, so I shift enter to use for squad, shift enter to you for squad, because I'm pretty sure, right, it was metal armor that I added battle access to, it is, so there we go. So now if we go to equip, all these people should have, yeah, that's the uniform that they should all have. So go ahead and put those on. Now I need to go to Noble. I need to go to Militia Captain. You know, buddy, I'm going to replace you with nobody. Oh, I can't replace you with nobody. Because you're currently in a squad, I bet. Well, you know what? I'm just going to leave a blank Militia Captain there then. Uh, and this is going to be one of my captains. Uh, yeah, let's go with Stukasalath. 
he is he has served us well in his duties all right so military I want to create a squad using the metal armor uniform there's our captain stickle so cloak wait a minute will this hang on a second What is going on? Is there just perpetually a spare? It's weird that you can't replace militia, cap set militia captains to nothing. Whatever. Uh, but now on our military list, we have multiple militia captains. Let's go ahead and create a squad. Uh, metal armor uniform is the one that I want. Search for captains. Ah, crap. Push the wrong button again. Let's take that. Oh, no, I didn't want to remove the guy. The captain needs to be the captain. The, the main guy needs to be the guy. All right. All right. Uh, that obviously was not enough. Okay, there we go. Uh, so there's that one. There's that one. There's that one. Uh, let's go to equip. Side uniforms. Leafy Dykes. That is certainly not the name they're going to be keeping. Uh, we'll go back to positions. Oh no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was position one. I want a name squad, and this will be the Amber Axes because they are no longer a training platoon. They're not called training platoon. They're called the Amber Axes. Excellent. Now, Amber Axes, you shall train here for now. Um. And this pulling shall be cancelled. We need to add, link up a, what's with an S, right? Yes. Add S, the next one. Add S, the third one. Add S, the fourth one. Add S, the fifth one. Add S, the sixth one. Seventh, S eighth, and add S ninth. Once that's done, pull it like a mad fool. Uh, so captain has become wrestler. A bunch of people are becoming wrestlers. Why are they becoming wrestlers? Not quite sure what that's all about. I did want to check though, actually. Did Zon Zonka Finn did get assigned in here? Okay, because he is a militia captain. Uh, so what's going to happen is once this squad is full, I'll pull Zonka Finn out and he can command the next one. The something axes, the burnished axes, or the bronze axes, or whatever. Uh, but they shouldn't be wrestlers. That's. Oh, I know why that happened. Yes. That makes perfect sense. Now we need to go to squad. A, you see, is active. B is active, C is inactive. So let's activate it, and we should see these guys unbecome wrestlers and whatever other miscellaneous tasks and return to being ex dwarves. There should be some uh, picking up equipment going on. There is, good. Now, I haven't moved my recruits in here for a very good reason. I need to make sure before I stick them in there that they do indeed have armor. I don't want them going in there if they don't have armor on. Okay. No. What? Uh, lack tan hide. No problem. There's a whole but there's like f 20 messages there of tan hide missing. Tan, tan hides missing. I pluralized the wrong word. Sometimes I do that. It's the cool thing to do. Look at all the pickup equipment. Wow. 
but hopefully they'll get some metal armor. We'll know, right? Because we can check with our dwarf therapist and we can see if they're missing equipment, it will tell us. It's a beautiful thing. All the clothes that were dropped are going to get picked up. I'm curious why this stuff isn't picked up. It's not forbidden or anything. It can get in these doors. These aren't set to store equipment. So there's no reason for all that stuff to be left there. It should definitely be collected. Should definitely be collected. Stopping production cloth shoot. Excellent. Look at this. This, this room is pretty much full. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Oh, it's fantastic. I love it. How's this coming? This is almost done. Look at that. We can, we can attack it from both ends now. Mm. Amazing. All the hauling is getting done. All the constructing is getting done. Got 11 idlers. They're all people who would normally have work, though. Farmers, tailors, gem cutters, carpenters, a blacksmith. Um, I met your demand. You are... I didn't even notice that. You are mandating the export of leggings prohibited. Well, no problem. I won't sell leggings. Just don't demand a ban on, like, bone crafts. Or rock mugs. And we'll be fine. Ooh, a masterpiece cow tripe roast. Does sound delicious, doesn't it? 19 idlers now. Look at look at the hauling jobs. There's literally no hauling. Uh, it, there is hauling, but the there's literally none on the second page. It is all on one page. Every single task on one page. Outstanding. Should be a bunch of people partying. Well, if you don't have a job, go join the party, man. They're getting some provisions. There's some already out here, as we can see. Out of curiosity, let's just see. We go to uh, inventory. He has pants, pants, a dress, a toga, a leather robe, a cloak, a cap, a hood. Glove, mitten, glove, mitten, glove, shoe, sock, foot, uh, I'm sorry, a shoe, a uh, shield, a battle axe, some bronze chain leggings, and a cow leather cloak. Okay, so this is who? No, nor, Norm. Axe recruit Norm. This guy. Equipment, missing. He is missing a backpack. He is wearing bronze leggings. I saw that. His upper body. He does not seem to be wearing metal armor, though. That bothers me. If I'm not mistaken, he was told to. Norm, you are supposed to be wearing metal armor. And according to this, he is wearing. This little icon usually means they're wearing it. So let me hit R to replace clothing. And now, ideally, he should take off something to put on metal clothes. This is my thinking. Uh, and what, what about you? What do you... You have an iron breastplate, so you are indeed wearing... You're good to go. You are all ready for battle. Excellent. Are you an axe recruit? Because that would be awesome if you are. No, you're just a woodcutter. Just a woodcutter, he says. As though being a woodcutter was beneath it. If you're a lumberjack, I apologize. I didn't, I didn't mean for that to sound the way it did. Alright. Alright. Hauling jobs? Uh, you know what? I think I think I've reached that point where my miners can go back to work. 
Labors Re Dwarves. Uh, is it sorted by name? I think it is. There's a miner, there's a miner. So all you guys. Of course it's going to turn on alchemy first before it turns stuff off. On alchemy, turn on the alchemy, now turn everything off. Alright, miners. You can resume your mining. Now, once this is done, I'm not going to do the dining room as previously mentioned. I'm going to do, I think, my training spaces up here. Because, I mean, step one, I have to open them up. And then step two is going to be to have to put floors in, right? So this is not going to be an instantaneous process. There's going to be a fair amount of work to be done before they're, they're ready. So I lack, leather skin, leather, I lack leather for water skins and I lack leather for tanned hides. So by equipment, our axe people should be here first, and we should see all that he's missing a battle axe. Interesting. You're missing a battle axe. You're missing a battle axe. So I'm going to make sure that I keep 10 iron battle axes in stock at all times. Uh, I, iron? Yeah, I have iron, right? Yeah, I have iron. All right, so add new task. Weapons and musician, munitions. Iron. Battle axe. Repeat. Workflow. Add battle axe of iron. Five to ten. Uh, that seems like it's more than I would need. I'm gonna say five. Keep five to seven battle axes at all times. Which is basically keep six, right? Uh, yep. Add new task. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. Uh, add new task. There we go. Armor. Iron. Breastplate. Repeat. Constrain it. Uh, breastplate of iron. Same thing. Keep five to seven. Add new task. Iron. Greaves. Repeat. Constrain it. Add out of iron. Five to seven. Um, helm, repeat, add iron, range 5 to 7, add eye boot, repeat, add a constraint, iron, range, 10 to 14, because just like everything else, you need two of those. Add new task, gauntlets, repeat, W, add a constraint out of iron, 10 to 14. I'm going to start with that. I can always add more items later as I go. Uh, but let's go ahead here and uh, I've only got one weaponsmith. I have multiple iron smiths. Let's go ahead and uh, just go ahead and queue up the jobs to work here as well. Iron, nope, not mail shirts. Iron breastplates. Iron greaves, was it? It was greaves. And then helm. High boot. And gauntlet. Right? There we go. And workflow should take care of both of those. Stock level is low, it sure is. Now as they're made, these guys should go grab them. Perfect. Excellent. Fantastic. Uh, miners, you are now, look at that, you're headed, down, headed off to mine. Look at y'all coming. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I feel better seeing the mine. 
And I'm curious, let's see if our Axe Lord... Is he still dealing with uh, Irritated by the Sun? Yeah, but it's still only been two, so we're just waiting for that to be gone from his mind, because I'm pretty sure it is no longer affecting him. Well, look at this, we have a miner who's not even uh, a miner yet. They're too new. We're up to 36 frames per second. I think all those hauling jobs were causing were causing lag. Huh. Now look at this, we got 15 idlers. Who's, who's a blow eyes? Who, the, who all is idle now? A bunch of... Okay, sure. Sure, fine, whatever. Put in all the beds. There's more out here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, only three. Fine. Oh, it's so nice to be mining again. Dwarves, aren't you happy? So we've started mining, we've finished mining. We gotta make sure that our new recruits get all the equipment that they need. Um, we wanna make sure, what else? That's really it, mining and making sure our recruits everything they need. That That's really the name of the game right now. Everything else seems to be going pretty well. The floor up here is almost done. Uh, once it is, I can uh, I'll be in a good position to start making the floor down here, right, in all these holes. And basically every single hole is going to get covered. That sounded dirty. Every single hole is going to have to get covered uh, on both of these, both of these end levels too. That'll be in a future episode. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.